A family searching for answers after their loved one was fatally shot Wednesday morning. 19-year-old Anna Martinez shot at an apartment off of East South Cross. San Antonio police arrested 22-year-old Jose Maria Galindo in connection with the shooting. The 19 Stephen Cavazos spoke to her family who say they hope justice will be served. The family of Ana Martinez continue to grieve after she was fatally shot at an apartment off East South Cross Wednesday. Her uncle, Cesar Martinez, says it was news no one ever expected to hear. And we weren't quite sure yet uh, about the whole situation, but uh, it cleared up pretty quickly after that that we'd lost our niece. And now they're hoping to pay for her funeral costs with the help of a barbecue fundraiser held off East Mitchell Street today. Her family describing her as a positive, loving person who put family first. She too was very close with her siblings, my other nieces and nephews. They all looked out for each other as we do. It was here at this southeast side apartment complex where Martinez was shot. She was later taken to a hospital where she died from her injury. But candles now burning outside her home in honor of her memory. San Antonio police making an arrest Thursday morning. 22-year-old Jose Maria Galindo is accused of fatally shooting Martinez. Her sister-in-law speaking to KSAT after learning of his arrest. She says they're still wanting answers. We just want to know the truth. Answers as to why their loved one was taken. She did not deserve to get killed by gun violence at all. Nothing. She shouldn't have. But for now, the family is just hoping for peace, especially for her two young children she leaves behind. Her kids need it. Her family needs it. Now, San Antonio police were able to arrest Galindo in LaSalle County, which is over 100 miles from where the shooting actually took place. Now, we did reach out to the Bear County Jail tonight. They weren't able to tell us if Galindo was currently here. However, he was out on bond for assault on a public servant at the time the shooting took place. Reporting live outside the Bear County Jail, Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News. Tim, Patty.